Welcome to this video on the different question or knowledge check options in Articulate Rise. So we've done a few Articulate Rise videos in this channel already and I wanted to dedicate this one to just having a look at the different question types so you could see what was available there and what and give you some best practice on what you might want to use. So in the previous videos we did use and set up one of the question types which was a multiple choice and it was a multiple answer as well. So just remember when you're using questions, uh, they are limited in Articulate Rise. You can't do a lot with the preset question types, but to see them, you're always going to click to add a new block. Now you do have at the bottom a couple of options available, but to see all of them, what you're going to do is you're going to click on all blocks and that will then open up the block library on the left hand side. And then you can go into the knowledge check section and you can see all of the options there. So there's four options. We've got multiple choice, multiple response, which is what I've got on my screen right now, where there's more than one correct answer. You need to be really careful with that one that you're selecting the right correct answers. There's a fill in the blank, which has its own challenges and then a matching option. So they're the four options that you can use in Articulate Rise. So let me open a multiple choice and then we can have a look at the differences between the multiple choice and the multiple response. They're very similar, but let me open a multiple choice one up and just click away to close that down. And you can now see the only real difference if I scroll up is the options of where you would tick their squares and then the multiple choice because there is only one answer it's just a circle or what we would call a radio button. So when you're going to edit these questions, you can just click in and go ahead and add your question. And then you can go and click in and add the answer as well. Can be a bit temperamental if you do it this way. So add answer one, get rid of that and add answer two or to the left hand side you can go into the edit option and then you can see you can type everything in there as well so you've got a question type option now if you have selected the wrong one if you wanted a multiple response here instead then you can change it at this point and you can add your question in so you can copy and paste or just free type it in there on most of the question types, you can add a photo. So if you click on that camera icon, you can just go into and select a photo. It's really useful if you're asking someone a question and you want to give them an idea of what the screen looks like. So I do a lot of systems training, so I might be asking which button do they click on and it will maybe give them a bit of a prompt. And then in here, you can add in more options if you want more options than what is already on the screen. And what you will need to do is select the right one. So when you're doing a multiple choice, a single answer, you just need to make sure you select the right one. And then just like any other question type, you have a number of feedback options. You can leave it as blank or you can choose to give a bit of feedback no matter what the response is. So it will tell them if they have answered it correctly or incorrectly but it may give them the same bit of information depend doesn't matter whether they've done it right or wrong you can separate it by correct or incorrect and you can also do it by choice as well so that's a really nice function if they've kind of almost got it but they've chosen a different option you maybe want to give them very specific feedback to help them understand why they got it wrong so you can do that feedback by choice as well and that's the same for any of your different question types which just makes it really really powerful um, but make sure you add that information in there so that will pop up depending on how they answer the question so multiple choice is super easy if i just switch this to multiple response the only difference you are going to see is that those circles are now boxes and you can obviously tick more than one box. It wouldn't make sense to have this question type if you only had one answer. 
Now a really top tip I use for this one is if it is a multiple response and multiple answer, just to sort of make sure people recognise that there might be more than one answer, I always put in that question and if I just click off there and scroll up, you'll see I've already done it. Select all that apply, just so it kind of, I know the boxes are a little bit different if you're looking, but if you're panicking and you're stressed and you're not quite sure, then you might miss that. And select all that apply just makes it a little bit more obvious to the person who's going in and answering that question. They're going to rethink and make sure they're looking at all of the answers and identifying any of them that might be correct. Let me just scroll down and we can have a look at the other question type. So if I go into edit and change this to a fill in the blank, what you've got here is a question and then you're going to actually have to type in the right answer. You can add multiple answers and you can make it case sensitive or not case sensitive, depending on what you're putting in there. And this is really useful if you want to, I'm doing systems training and I want to know what option someone's going to click on, so I'll get them to type that in. Just be aware of variations with spelling, especially UK and US spellings with an S or a Z. Make sure you put all of the options in there or any common spelling mistakes with the word that you're looking for or the words that you're looking for, the phrase, then put them in there. You can add as many acceptable answers as you need to, to make sure that if they kind of got it right, but they've maybe done a spelling mistake or they've missed a capital letter, you can, you can change the answers there to make sure that the system knows that they had got that right. So it's really useful. Obviously, if they totally spelled it wrong and it wasn't an acceptable answer, then they will get it marked as incorrect, even if they knew what they were saying, but they just mistyped it. So it is a challenging question type to add in. You want to really think about the questions if you're going to use a fill in the blank and make sure it's nice and simple and the word or the phrase is easy to type out and there's limited opportunity for someone to get that wrong. The final option then is matching. So matching allows users to match bits of information together. So I use it quite often if there are multiple sections of a system and you go into each different section to do something different. I might have um, a, section, a list of sections and a list of processes that they can link together so I can test to make sure they're going into the right part to do the right process. Again, you need to think about the question and the phrasing and things like that if you're using it, but it's really nice to make it a little bit more interactive rather than just answering multiple choice questions and typing things in. It just brings a different dimension to your questioning and again, it will track whether they've answered that right or wrong. You can add in a photo if you need to, and you've got some feedback options there as well. With this option, it doesn't track uh, doesn't track it based on the answer, so the individual answers given. But they can either have a feedback on any response, so whether they got it right or wrong, or a feedback on correct and incorrect. So you might have something different there. So you have four different question types that you can use directly in RISE. You've got multiple choice, multiple response, you have fill in the blank and matching in order to check the knowledge of your learners when you're creating content. So please do have a go at those, have a play around, think about what is the best option for the question and the knowledge you are wanting to check. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know what videos you'd like me to see ne record next.